my dear friends subscribers students faculties and well wishers i welcome all of you for my youtube channel kindly subscribe trinity cultural academy coimbatore the youtube channel uh, and uh, if you subscribe right now you can get all the videos that will be uploaded in future and uh, the topic of interest is conventional farming and the alternate land use in dry land agriculture and uh, this is the topic which i am going to discuss now and uh, this is being prepared by myself uh, dr vanangamudi former dean agriculture of tamil nadu agricultural university i also worked as dean of adibara sakti agriculture college kalavai as well as professor and head department of seed science and technology tna coimbatore and if you want to contact me you can dial you can reach me at 9894904745 and i am also having email this is my email id and also website kindly visit my website and you can all the informations will be available in the website and this is the youtube link and you can use this link for getting the material what i am posting i have posted so far in the youtube so far i have posted nearly 200 videos and dealing with the agriculture horticulture and general studies coming to the actual topic the conventional farming and alternate land use in dry land farming again uh, the topic is pertaining to dry land farming what do you mean by conventional farming this is refers to the use of synthetic chemical fertilizers pesticides herbicide and other continual inputs genetically modified organism that is gm crops heavy irrigation intensive tillage and concentrated monoculture production this is more important monoculture highly resource and energy intensive but also highly productive this conventional farming is highly productive conventional farming typically involves mono cropping i am repeating again but it is very expensive the second the, the topic is uh, the alternate land use in dry land farming and this refers to use of alternative production system in lands to achieve more sustainable biological and economic productivity on long term basis and the classical example for alternate land use in dry land agriculture is agroforestry systems and uh, this um, alternate land use pattern is followed in dry land to cope up increasing population of both human as well as livestock and raising the demand for fodder food and fiber and uh, a yeah, diversified land use system need to be adopted as an alternative to conventional cropping system where the mono cropping is the major component though this approach the biological productivity and quality of resource based degraded system ecosystem can be significantly enhanced and if you look into the different agroforestry system 
and this agroforestry system is to have land use system in which woody perennials especially the trees shrubs palms and bamboos are deliberately grown in association with the herbaceous plants like crops and pastures crops includes agriculture crops as well as horticulture crops or livestock in a spatial arrangement or a rotation or both and uh, what is the what are all the different uh, systems the agroforestry system we can see one by one and these are all more important for the examination point of view the first one is agri silviculture system here the growing of trees in and agriculture crops in association with the agriculture crops the second system is alay cropping here the the trees are planted in rows in a wide spacing with a companion crops that grows in the alley ways between the trees of uh, between the two rows of the trees and the third system is agri horticulture system growing of hot agriculture crops along with the horticulture crops this is agri horti system the fourth system is silvi pasture system here the trees are grown in association with the grasses and fifth one is horti pasture system here the crops as well as the grasses are grown along with the trees and the sixth one is agri silvi and pasture system here the horticulture crops as well as field crops are grown along with the grasses and the seventh system agroforestry system is agri silvi horti culture system here the trees are grown in association with the field that is agronomic crops as well as horticulture crops and these are all the seven major agroforestry system that is being followed in dry land farming or dry land agriculture and the next one is tree based farming in marginal lands or the lands which are not capable of supporting the field crops where the field crops are not at all grown and this can be converted into tree based farming and here the live fence rows can also be grown in the dry land farming and the the legume species like luciana lucosopella and sesbania grandiflora and these two legumes are grown in wetlands and zeibus hibiscus gladysidia species are grown in dry areas and these are the main sources of human food as well as animal feed which gives approximately 6% leaf protein to the animals and the economic trees such as mango and kapok are grown in this uh, life fence system and this is more useful for controlling the erosion as well as to separate the field for demarcation and the next one is trees as hedges and some of the trees are grown as live hedges by the farmers and the next topic is uh, for discussion is the slope agriculture land technology growing seasonal as well as perennial crops of n fixing trees nitrogen fixing trees in 3 meter to 5 meter wide bands between contour rows and the yen fixing trees are thickly planted in double rows to make hedge rows when hedge is uh, is being followed and it is allowed to grow up to 1.5 to 2 meter tall 
and it is then lobbed to about 40 cm height and placed in alleys to serve as mulch come manure. The trees used for hedges are being tabulated in this uh, table. Uh, the first column is common name, the second column is scientific name and third column the uses. And the first tree is Moluca bean, Cisalpinia crista, scientific name, it reduces soil erosion. Then coral tree, Erythrina variegata and it is non-browsable that is not being browsed by the animals and it is used for conserving soil as well as water. Thor, Euphorbia species, non-browsable again having the medicinal value. Jetropa, Jetropa carcass is the scientific name. It is also non-browsable and again it is utilized mainly for conserving soil as well as water. Lantana, this Lantana camera, non-browsable and this Lantana is resistant to adverse conditions. It improves the fertility of exhausted areas and rocky gravelry or hard infertile soil and again used in soil conservation it adds humus to the soil as well as the green manure and that is being convertible to compost and the Kevada Pantanus uh, odorotismus non browsable again soil binder it controls erosion from wind as well as water and it is also used as a shelter belt to sand drips of food value used in making paper ropes cordage hats baskets umbrellas fancy articles roots for brush and basket making and this uh, Kavada is having a lot of uses if you raise in the dryland agriculture. Horse bean, Parkinsonia aculata, it is used as fuel fodder, paper making and is having a big medicinal value. Laity bubble, uh, it is a prosophis uh, juliflora, it is immune to the grazing of uh, many animals. It yields firewood as well as fodder. With this, I am completing uh, this presentation. Thank you, friends. Kindly like my presentation and kind on my presentation. And share this video to your friends as well as to the WhatsApp groups. Kindly subscribe to get upcoming videos. Thank you, friends.